Tempo has reached critical level. Tempo has reached critical level. <laughs> Jay Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. All right, now in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is giving you all a review of the Torino Pro. This is the 510. Now, me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and nickname this brush the Silver Bullet. And the main reason why is because I don't know if y'all grew up like me, but when I was growing up, there was a time period where a whole bunch of like scary movies would come out where they would have like Frankenstein, they would have vampires, and most notoriously, they would be werewolves. And if you ever watched a movie with a werewolf, then you would know the only way to be able to kill a werewolf was with a silver bullet bullet and that's the reason why i'm gonna go ahead and nickname this bad boy the silver bullet is because this brush right here is a wolf killer let's continue on with the review so you can have a better understanding of the reason why i call this brush the silver bullet now off top this brush is a nine row medium brush now with that being said one thing that you will notice is when you look at the bristles not only do they have the black board bristles but the tips are slightly brown i think the tips are like slightly of uh, of uh, uh, bleach you know what i'm saying to give it that little brown appearance or they may be premium board bristles like in the middle of it you know what i'm saying so but i don't want to focus too, too much on that at the end of the day these bristles are amazing you know what i'm saying when it comes to medium brushes i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering all right jay lou what's up with all these different medium brushes Brushes, do they really all feel different? You know what I'm saying? Can you give us a better example and some comparisons? Your boy J. Lou is just in time to do that. You know what I'm saying? So the brushes I'm going to be comparing it against, the first brush I'm going to compare it against, this is the Saints Torino Pro. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember the number on this bad boy, but at the end of the day, when you look at this brush, this brush is very similar in, in regards to looks off of how this brush is. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, the tips of these bristles are slightly brown, but the majority of the bristle is mainly black. You know what I'm saying? And both of these brushes are considered mediums but whenever you brush them through your hair one thing that I noticed is that this brush is slightly softer than this bad boy and one of the main reasons why I think that is is because the bristles on this on the Saints brush are slightly longer very slightly longer than the silver bullet you know what I'm saying so that may play a factor but at the same time I think that these brushes are just, uh, just a little bit slightly softer than these bristles right here now a lot of you guys may not have the Saints brush but if you've been following my channel and everything like that and you've been keeping up with these reviews and you did not sleep on catching this bad boy right here then i know a lot of y'all will probably have this brush to be able to compare it to now when i use both of these brushes like i told you in my review of the 706 this bad boy is a medium brush and it feels like a, a great medium and it has blunt bristles and to me it's, it's always amazing that bk can come up with brushes that have blunt bristles that feel like mediums but at the same time because these bristles are blonde this brush will feel like a firmer or a true medium compared to this brush they're both mediums you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i really believe what separates these two is the fact that this brush has slightly longer bristles than the 706 and at the same time these are black board bristles versus the blonde board bristles you know what i'm saying so now the next brush i can compare it to i know a lot of people are probably going to amazon and they see all these different brushes coming out and everything like that and when it comes to hey hold up <laughs> All right, fellas, hold on. The review gonna have to stop. I just noticed when I was looking at my brush, there are some long pieces of hair in this brush, and I know it's not mine. So at the end of the day, my girl had to be using this brush. And as y'all can see, I got my brushes on the side, and I don't use this brush that often. But man, I got they got long strands in my brush. You know what I'm saying? So all right, with that being said, let's get back to the review. Now I know a lot of you guys usually get hounded on by your girlfriends and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to point that out because the ladies, it may they may trip and complain about you buying your brushes but when you not looking bro they are gonna use your brush you know what i'm saying so with that being said before you look, use your brushes always just take a check man just to make sure your brushes ain't getting used and abused by your girl you know what i'm saying <laughs> but all right let's get back to the review all right so when it comes to these two bad boys now my personal opinion y'all know this is the og this one is straight all black bristles you know and everything like that this one doesn't have the brown tips as the uh, silver bullet does when it comes to the length of the bristles the silver bullet bristles are slightly longer and what I noticed is that it's not really the black 
bristles, but it's more so the brown bristles that stick up a little bit higher on this brush. You know what I'm saying? So, but y'all care more so about the pull. When it comes to how these brushes feel, the OG is firmer than this bad boy right here. You know what I'm saying? But. In my personal opinion, because these bristles are uh, slightly longer, that just means that this brush has a little bit more pull than this bad boy right here. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to nickname it the Silver Bullet because when it comes to a wolf, when, when you're trying to tame and when you're trying to kill your wolf, you really need a brush with pull. And when it comes to killing your wolf, that's the reason why this brush to me it outweighs the other ones, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that this brush is better than the other ones. It just simply means in regards to how they feel, I just prefer how this one feels. I'm just trying to help give you guys a firmness detection level so you can know okay I want to brush kind of a little bit firmer than this one blah 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 you know what I'm saying so with that being said as you guys can see because this is a nine row medium brush when it comes to using this brush and everything like that I couldn't call this brush the silver bullet you know what I'm saying and then have the same impact if I just brushed my hair the normal way which was using the long face of the brush to brush my angles the reason why I call this brush the silver bullet is because when it comes to vertical brushing this bad boy is a killer you know what I'm saying if you have a side that you're working on such as myself as as a right now what i'm really trying to do is fix this side of my hair right now so the reason why i call this this brush the silver bullet is on my wolf what i'm going to be doing is taking this bad boy and just vertical brushing that angle just like i'm about to show you guys right now Just like a bullet, you know what I'm saying? You wanna hit your angle as if you shooting away all of those forks and just getting rid of them, you know what I'm saying? And what you will notice about vertical brushing is that you will gain faster progress and help your connections line up a lot better. At the end of the day, one of the last things I wanna say about this brush is because it's a medium brush, this brush will definitely help distribute the natural oils, which will make your hair softer in the long run. And if you finish it up with a softy, it will definitely make your hair shine like crazy, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, that's the end of the review of this brush. I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you wanna find this brush. This brush is exclusively sold on Amazon. What I would do is make sure that the link is dropped down in the description below and I will also put it in my top comment, my pinned comment, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's your boy J. Lou. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the silver gloss paint and everything on there. As I told y'all before, man, that silver paint just to me is just crazy. I know some people call this brush the Raiders brush, but like I said, in my personal opinion, this is a wolf killer, so it's only right to call it the silver bullet. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day it's your boy jay lou slew come brush with me hey do what i do lou is the name i'm so off the chain torino is the brush do wet wood grain brush a wave i have some brush a wave i have some brush a wave i have some brush a wave i have some